What happens when you combine a thermoelectric device and a photovoltaic device? How do electrons and holes behave in the presence of simultaneous thermal and quasi-Fermi level gradients? If a refrigerator is the reverse mode of operation of a thermoelectric power generator, and a light emitting diode is the reverse mode of operation of a photovoltaic device, what is the reverse mode of operation of a combined thermoelectric and photovoltaic device? A refrigerating light emitting diode? Well, in fact, yes. Yes, it is. These are just some of the questions asked and conclusions reached in our paper, Reversible Electron Hole Separation in a Hot Carrier Solar Cell, in which we investigate new possibilities for renewable energy device design at the intersection of light, heat, and quantum electronics. To investigate what happens when you combine a thermoelectric device and a photovoltaic device, we employ a simplified model describing the situation, a semiconductor heterostructure NIP diode, in which the interior intrinsic region is at one temperature, and in which the edge heavily doped regions are at another temperature. This constitutes the thermoelectric portion of the model. To add the photovoltaic element and capture the effect of illumination, a chemical potential splitting of the electrons and holes is present in the intrinsic region of the diode. This describes the non-equilibrium populations of the electrons and holes that are sustained by the absorption of power from the illuminating spectrum. By tracking the change in the entropy of the electrons and the holes as they move within this model system, we find there are new and interesting measurable physical behaviors that would be present in such a system. Firstly, larger open circuit voltages than are possible in conventional isothermal photovoltaics can be achieved due to the thermoelectric contribution to the device voltage. Secondly, enhanced thermoelectric performance could be obtained due to the additional non-equilibrium of photogeneration of carriers and the resulting splitting of carrier chemical potentials. Finally, our analysis shows that a heat-powered light emitting diode could be constructed in which light emission is caused by radiatively recombining thermocurrents. These results suggest that some very interesting experiments may be possible by simultaneously studying temperature gradients, light absorption and emission, and electrical transport in semiconductor heterostructure devices. Surely, there are physical challenges to the realization of such systems, but whoever said science was easy? I hope you enjoy our paper. Happy reading.